Hey, what's up guys? Dr. Kyle Loveless here. Today's video is going to be, I think, pretty awesome because we're not just talking about psoriasis. We're going to talk about all this kind of gamut of skin issues that's going on in our world today. Personally, many of you know my story. I've had, I had psoriasis from age four to age 34. I also had horrible acne when I was in high school into college. I took Accutane twice. I don't know if you, if you know what Accutane is. You know it's a hardcore acne medication. It has a negative impact on your liver, has a negative impact on your hormones. I mean, I got anxiety, digestive issues, all those things in that process of, of trying to get rid of acne. I took all the acne medications. Um, and also I've, I've had in my life, I've had eczema before too, behind my ear a couple times um, years ago. And, and, and so I understand these, these skin things, but what I'm getting at is that these are become pandemic, I mean, epidemics. They, I mean, like if you really look at Google and what the biggest searches are, it's skin issues. And why is that? Are we just now made with bad skin? And why, better question is why aren't dermatologists doing anything about it? Are they just doing the same thing over and over again for every single condition, another steroid? I don't understand this. And they're not even looking beneath the skin, they're focusing on the skin and that immune response is happening at the skin level. So what is psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, vitiligo, um, uh, acne, and more, what do these skin issues all have in common? There's three, th there's, I'm sorry, there's one main thing they have in common and there's, I'm, I'm just gonna say three, there's a lot more than this, but I'm trying to make a video so it can be precise for you guys um, and that you can use the information I'm actually giving you because I don't wanna just talk, I want you to use this stuff. And so I'm gonna give you three things that you can do whether you're suffering with any of these things or multiple of these things. Some people come with psoriasis and eczema, some people come with psoriasis and acne. And so these are all things, rosacea is a big one as well. They all go back to one thing, they go back to there's some underlying cause in the body creating a chronic inflammatory response, okay? That's it. The body's stuck in an inflammatory response. And so our question has to be, why is the body stuck in an inflammatory response? Which takes us to the next step is, there's gotta be a stressor creating that inflammation, okay? Because again, if you have, let's think of this, ulcerative colitis, itis, inflammation, colitis, colon, inflammation in the colon. So you have ulcerative, there's ulcers in the colon and, and create inflammation. Well. The only way to get rid of that ulcer is to get rid of whatever's creating the ulcer and the stressor. A better example of this is what if you're laying on a bed? When someone lays on a bed too long, what do they get? They get bed sores, right? If they get off the bed, what usually heals up? The bed sore. The stressor got off, the ulcer on the skin went away. Same thing with ulcerative colitis, same thing with skin issues is there's something creating the stressor, we're seeing it come out in the skin. So even if you got rid of, again, when I got rid of eczema, when I had it for a little bit of a short period of time. I didn't make a lot of changes. I actually don't even know why it went away, but I do know that I wasn't healthy yet, okay? And I know there's people that come in, they get rid of their psoriasis quickly, they disappear, but that doesn't mean they're healthy. You don't just heal that fast, that quickly. Um, it takes time, healing takes time. So, so when there's a stressor, we need to figure out what's the stressor. So go back on some of the videos I've done on that. Um, there's chemical, there's physical, there's emotional stress that kind of leads to these things. But what I wanna talk about today is all these things have a common is that inflammatory response and typically it goes back to the GI tract being the biggest part that we need to work on. And I'll actually change that, the nervous system and the digestive system, the two main areas we need to work on the most. When I say the nervous system, if you're stuck in a chronic stress response, you're not gonna digest food and that's gonna cause the digestive problem. So a lot of times people say leaky gut's the issue. Yes, there is that, that is part of the issue, but I also believe and based on the studies I've seen is that it's also a nervous system issue a vagal nerve response where our body's stuck in a sympathetic fight or flight response and not getting into the relaxed digest food mode, which led to the gut issue or vice versa, the gut issue led to that. So it's kind of a back and forth. And again, the body as a whole, so it's not just fix the gut, it's not just fix the nerve, it's heal, get the body in a healthy balance and it'll heal itself, okay? So these th things all have in common is they go back to when, when it comes to health and inflammatory response, how do we address that? What I like to do is work on the nervous system, work on the gut, okay? Liver, gallbladder, this is all part of the gut, okay? And so the three things you can do if you have one of these health issues, whether it's psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, um, acne, uh, vitiligo, any of these things, and you can name some other ones, sorry if I missed one, I missed the one that you have, but many times they'll all kind of come together in what you can do in the beginning. Number one is you change and you follow more of a non-inflammatory diet. I give patients a gut healing diet, and that's what, that's what I call it. It's a mix of the plant paradox and the FODMAP diet. And I think that's a good generic eating plan that anybody can follow to start to help their gut heal because it takes stress off the gut. The second thing that you do with those, these health issues is you get a food allergy test, an IgG food allergy testing I think is huge. And I know there's back and forth on different doctors saying this doesn't work and it does work. 
I would not be on a video saying it over and over again. It, it, guys, you don't make, I don't make a lot of money on a food allergy test. And I don't even sit down with the patient, so I'm not doing many consults on food allergy tests. I want you to get it because I've seen the best results with food allergy tests, the simplest results, right? So the food allergy test, the following a gut healing diet, non-inflammatory diet, foods that don't inflame the body, right? And then the final thing is what supplements do you take? Okay, well, if it's a nervous system problem, let's take supplements that are gonna support the nervous system response. Let's take things like B1, high doses of, of, of uh, B1, right? Around 200 uh, or 500 milligrams of benthothiamine. That's a great start. Or you can, along with it, take vitamin D3, supporting the immune system, supporting the nervous system as well with that vitamin D3, anywhere from 10 to 20,000 IUs of vitamin D3. Cod liver oil or some sort of omega-3 fatty acid, EPA, DHA fatty acid, amazing and very important for our, our neurological health and our cellular health and keeping inflammation down. You can always do herbs that help you adapt to stress. You can do things like Romania that helps calm the T cell response and is an adaptogen. You can do things like ashwagandha, do things like rhodiola, uh, cordyceps. These are things that help your body adapt to stress, right? So those are some of the cool things that I, I think that if everybody with these health issues did, they would see health benefits from. And some people, a good amount of people that would do this will actually see it completely disappear. And I know that because I've done just those things with those people and that's all they need to do to disappear. The people that it takes more, then we gotta investigate. We need to go more in depth. We need to do a stool test evaluation. We need to be looking at maybe they need more probiotics. Maybe they need to take away a probiotic. Maybe they need to shift their diet because they have yeast overgrowth. There's a lot of variables. I try my best to make these videos to where, obviously I can't make them individual, but that you know that I'm not just saying if everybody does this, they get this result because it's just not real, that, that just doesn't happen. There's no, one thing that drives me crazy when I watch a health video and they're saying, if you do this, you're gonna do, get this. No, it doesn't work that way, but most of you will get amazing results with it and some of you will completely get rid of your health problem and then you continue on from that, okay? So those are the main things I would say with those, with those skin issues. If you wanna learn more about skin issues and connect with us completely on it, you can work with me one-on-one -on -one if you'd like. We have easily, just go to our website at queencityhealthcenter.com and you can schedule, or if you wanna get a part of the online course, which I think is the best place to do it because you're gonna save the most money, you're gonna get the best results, you're gonna be with the community, it's everything I got all in one to give you uh, for these health issues and skin issues, um, then go to that. You can go to the links below and you can connect to that as well. So hope you guys got a lot out of this. If you have any questions, comment. If you wanna hear about other stuff, put that in the comments as well. Finally, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share these videos with others. Um, skin issues are a lot bigger issue than people think because we don't see them. Meaning, if it's not on the face, people cover it up. And so you see people that, that you know actually have psoriasis or they have eczema or they have these health issues, but you never know because they've kept it hidden. Share these videos with it and you might hit one of those people that you didn't even realize they had um, skin issues or maybe their child or family member has it and it was able to help them. So join this mission with us on helping others become their own health expert.